right guys, time for the main event. This thing has a lot of screws holding it together, so it's going to be a pain in the ass. But, I shall endure. Oh, how much I would give for a cordless screwdriver right now. I should point out that this switch is a Cisco 3560X. It was installed in February, I believe. And it lasted 10 months, basically. And it was about 10 months on the dot until it got struck by lightning. Or more correctly, cables connected to it got struck by lightning. You will notice my nice big label on top of it saying do not use in case it somewhere ended up or somehow ended up somewhere it was not supposed to and someone wasn't quite aware of the uh, circumstances affecting this switch but considering how the thing smells I find that a little hard to believe but I'm going to be safe than sorry and hopefully this is enough to get the thing open to start levering or something then uh, might have to wait till another day. I think it's loose already though, which is a good sign. Oh yeah, some 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 nice big burnage marks there. That that that's gotten pretty charred. And that's yeah, that's burnt in there. That's that's not just soot. It's actually burnt on there. So a bit of interest is at the other end. Give me a second, I get this module bay out of the way. Oh, it smells wonderful. Just absolutely wonderful. Exactly what you want your core network switch to smell like. And you can see here this uh, cable here is pretty toast. Looks like something's arced out to it. There's definite burn marks that are that are sweeping that way and the edge of it is all carbonized. I think it might have even exposed the bare metal on it. So let's have a closer look. How do we get into that module? Is it as simple as that? Yeah, it might be. Screws here. This uh, capacitor here is noticeably burnt as well, or at least got very warm. It's, uh... Oh right, I see why the. I think I know why the PSU smells so bad. That uh, PSU would have been sitting here when it was installed, or that, at least that's the way we had it set up. Yeah, yeah, that 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 got a little warm. 
That got a little bit hot. Check that out. That obviously got a little bit warmer than it was supposed to. No idea what that chip was. I think you could spend. Come on, do some ISO wipes. Might, might. See us through. Let's try this again. That chip was. LV 595A, it looks a bit. It's actually cleaning up remarkably well. Look like it's arced out anywhere in here. It doesn't really. Yeah, LV 595A, but I can't read the top line. I'd say, judging by the board, that it's a uh, LED controller of some description. In fact, it's well wired into LEDs. Oh, that stinks though. But here. Pierce de resistance. And oh boy, did it go bang. Let me just pause the video for a minute and bring you down closer. So guys, as you can see, the uh, damage to the switch is fairly extensive. The poor old uh, network ports have copped it quite severely. And if you actually look here, uh, you can kind of see it, but there's there's a chip here, and there's another one here. There's no chip here anymore. So whatever was there pretty much just got vaporized. But yeah, that, that's what lightning will do. Anyway, catch us later.